I was lied to. I was told this was the only way you could make it in business. And I was told that on day one of starting my business, but I just didn't think that sounded right. I heard this advice and thought, no, I'm going to prove this is wrong. I've been running my accounting business for over three years now. And at the start, I was told regularly that you have to be ruthless in business. You have to make sure you're looking to make a profit at every opportunity and never give anything away for free. And I really think I've been out to prove that wrong from day one. And I think I am. I think that by doing the right thing in business, by being a good person, and by sometimes giving stuff away for free, you can build a successful business in the long term. And I think that comes down to the fact that business can be a tough world. It can be really tough if you're running your own business, but you don't always have to choose between money and doing the right thing. You can have both. And today I'm gonna tell you my experiences of this and tell you why I think this is the way everyone should be looking to grow their businesses. The first area is pricing. And I was told from the start that, oh, you need to charge a fortune for your services. You know, higher price means that the better service, and this just isn't true. People will tell me, oh, you should be charging X, or you should be charging Y for these services. And my services might be half that price. But price is not an indication of quality. And therefore, why should I make that a way of trying to make more money for myself? Why don't I just price things at what I think is a fair price? So many business coaches are out there saying, charge $499 for that. But they're not the ones taking it to market. The market might only want to pay $99 for that. But they do all their calculations on the $499 and then you go to market and you just look silly. You need to price based on what the market's willing to pay and what you honestly think the service is worth, what you want to get out of it. So for me, I work out, okay, how much money do I need to make my living? How much do I need to pay my bills to support my family? What can I actually do? You know, how many hours do I have? What price point does that need to be? And is that fair? I don't need to then go, oh, well, I'm just going to double it because someone might pay that. I want to charge what I think is a fair price for a service. So I think if you're pricing services for your business, make sure that you're doing it based on what you think you would like to pay for that service, not just increasing the price because, oh, someone will pay it but then you've got to live with yourself thinking you're ripping someone off. The secondary is actually this YouTube channel. And I've been told by people, why are you giving everything away for free? Why not just give them a snippet of information and then plug your services at the end of every video? You know, oh, how can you maximize your tax return? Here's tip one. Oh, and the other four tips you have to pay me for. No, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to give away content for free to provide value to people. There's no expectation that all 3,000 subscribers become clients. That's just not realistic. But could I help 3,000 people face to face every week? No, but I can put out a video and hopefully I can. It's not about trying to grouch every dollar out of everyone. Sometimes it's about just giving value away for free and not expecting anything in return. And I think good things do happen to good people. You do the good things for people and they do happen in return. But if you're only doing with the expectation that's gonna happen, that's where you go wrong. So I could easily give up on this channel and go, oh, I've been doing it for two and a half years and I've only got 3,000 subscribers. Someone else started a channel after me and they got more. But that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing it because I want to provide value to people. I enjoy making the content. People enjoy watching them. Why not keep doing it? I think that's something that surprised people when I said, oh, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Like, oh, that's a great way to plug your services. And while the occasional time I will mention what I do for a living, I'm not here to do that. And I think that has shown through the content I've made is I've made content I think has been valuable to a broad amount of people, not just content that will bring me in the most subscribers or bring me in the most clients. If I wanted to do that, I could sit there and just go, oh, these things are hopefully things that people are challenged with and they'll just come to me and they'll pay me to help me. Instead, I'll go, what's something that's educational, entertaining that I can give to my viewers? I think doing the right things by your customers, your clients, whatever industry you're in, is always the right thing to do. If you've got a client that needs help, I think you should help them. I think that's just logical. To me, it's a no-brainer. If you've got someone that's in a dire financial position, you know, you're going to help them. You want to make sure you help them. Obviously, you want to make sure you're running a successful business and you get paid for the work you deserve to be paid for. But sometimes it might be, all right, I'm going to do this for them up front and I know they're going to pay me in a couple months' time because they're struggling at the moment. Or I know this person really needs help and you know, by me helping them, I'm going to actually make a positive impact on their lives. It's not always about, oh, well, I need to make sure I make X off that client every single time. A good example of me trying to do the right thing by people was in my early stages of business, I helped a lot of people that were looking to start small little home-based businesses. And a lot of these people never even become clients. Some of them I didn't earn a single dollar off. But for me, it was like, I was trying to pursue my dream of starting a business. So I wanted to be able to pass that knowledge on to someone else, whether they were 
trying to start up a small PT business or Pilates or maybe they were trying to make some homemade food. I wanted to be able to portray my knowledge onto them because I was lucky enough to be in the position where I could start a small business myself and let me help these people pursue their dreams. The great thing with this, I've been able to work with some of these people in the long term and see them take this small little business into something successful that they're doing as a full-time living. So that for the loan has been rewarding for me. But if I didn't help them at the start when they maybe didn't have the ability to pay, that would have never happened. So sometimes, you know, you're going to put sacrifices in in the early days, especially when you're starting a business, especially when you're young, put those sacrifices and put them into things that are good things for other people. And then that will build the building layers to having future success. Business and in particular, small business is a long term game. There's not many industries you're going to go in as a small business owner, especially if you're young and just succeed on day one. These things take time, they take months, they take years, they take decades in some cases. But if you keep building the foundation right and doing the right thing by people, putting the time into improving yourself, improving your service, your content, your product, then you will succeed in the long term. I've definitely found that myself, is I've had very tough years, those first couple of years of business. You know, year three was better than year two, year four has so far been better than year three. And suddenly you start to go, yeah, this is worth the time. You can see that all the foundations you're laying are actually paying off in the long term. The great thing is I've tried to do this by always doing the right thing by others. I've tried to give 100% to every client that I can. I always try and get them the best outcome or make sure that you know my pricing is the best that I can offer them. And by doing that, I know that my conscience is, well, I'm building this business in the right way. And that's something I feel like I can be proud of. I don't really ask for a lot on the channel, but I am trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So before you do leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go and check out some of the other content I've got. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.